same on Grandparents Arena, where it's a high-octane, fast-paced, head-to-head race to the finish line. Whoever gets there first will win a place in the finals, of course. Why don't we bring out our first gamers? I was pretty rubbish to start, but I think I've done all right. And how are you as a teacher? Do you think that's uh, something you're going to take up in later life? No. <laughs> I sort of knew the answer to that before I asked the question, really. <laughs> I don't know, I think people still have that thing in their head where it's like when it feels like a smaller title, when it's yes. going up against something bigger, like I think no one can really get that kind of, you know, David and Goliath sensibility That's out of their head where That's it's true. like, these guys are really big, look at Christopher Judge, mm -hmm. and then, you know, but you just got to make a good game. You yeah. have a great idea. That's all that matters. That's exa exactly that. Well, speaking of making a good game, best British game, guys, the roller <laughs> doll there. Yes. Is that the first time we've had an oi oi in a, in a award ceremony, you reckon? I don't know. I mean, I've certainly done that at the after party, <laughs> but I don't think that counts. <laughs> Technically, it's on the same day, right? It's the same day. It's the same it's day. just no one was filming me. Thank no, goodness. but that was incredible. As a video game player, this is the most exercise I've had in about 800 years. My arms hurt. To the goal. Go. To the goal. Go. To the goal. Go. To the goal. Go. Three I seconds. I want to play this again. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my arms. That was really painful. Who invented that? I feel kind of sad that, like, you know, generations kind of after us missed out on the kind of heyday of arcades. It's not just about the games. It was about everyone coming to a place like on the yeah. weekend and you're hanging out and like you're... a community thing. yeah witcher con hello everyone around the world and welcome to the first ever witcher con my name's julia hardy and i'm going to be your host for today and um i was trying to summarize and you know put into words just what it means to me you know to be the host of today's events but then i realized if i did put it into words it would just be the sound that only a dog could hear so yeah i'm just going to try and keep my cool today but it is going to be a little bit challenging i'm not going to lie Nice Sunday drive out. Yeah, well, thank you for driving me to the uh, championship final. That is okay. quite exciting. I mean, I'm sure you actually have better things to do than show for me around, but you know, the weather's a bit rubbish here. You can't see. Look at that. Look at this. This is not how I imagined Monaco at all. I can't say I imagined it like this at all either. A lot of other places we go, you don't really see anything other than the track, the hotel, and the, yeah, the they've airport. They've got some nice, nice. I appreciate their tarmac. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the opening ceremony, of which, if you missed it, was a sight to behold. There were some colours I've never seen before. There was fireworks. There was lasers. There was street performers like captured from all across Europe organ grinders like you name it it was a cacophony of some uh, really interesting mixes of music so if you haven't checked it out do go back we've actually got it on board you can uh, watch it later on after this but don't go anywhere just yet because actually we have back to back today it's gonna be incredible i think the guys from elf took it a little bit to heart that i was complaining about being on my sofa for three months so uh they've arranged a different mode of transportation to get to the festival and um totally here for it. So I thought like, you know, maybe it's like a fancy helicopter or like a mahogany panel plane. But um, no, no, apparently, apparently I'm doing a skydive. A skydive. Three, four. 